the um, uh, study that's m most likely to be practice changing is the Bolero 3 clinical trial with venerelbine trastuzumab with or without the mTOR inhibitor Everolimus. And so um, the press release has, has come out that that's a positive trial. So we'll take a look at those, those data and uh, be very interested in any biomark or analyses that have been done. So that gives us another option now <clears throat> in uh, HER2 positive metastatic breast cancer. So that will, I think, Everolimus is already um, available on the market. And I think we'll see some probably pretty immediate use of that. It'll be interesting to see the ER positive versus the ER negative subset because we already have good data with Bolero 2 in the ER positive group. Bolero 2 will be presented with regard to biomarker analyses. So we'll all be interested in, for example, PI3 kinase mutation patients. We'd like to have another, we've got ER and we've got HER2, we'd like another one. We'd like there to be PI3 kinase mutations, which really signal, I hope, that the Everolimus strategy is very effective. Not that Everolimus doesn't work in other uh, uh, in PIK3CA wild type cancers, but it'd be really nice to see a nice delta, you know, in the PIK3CA mutant uh, patients because we, we need good reasons to order these genomic tests because we want to send our patients to clinical trials, uh, but we have to um, have clinical utility of these genomic tests in order to justify their cost. So hopefully we'll see some good data there and, and also in the HER2 positive patients see what Everolimus does in the PIK3CA mutant patients.